races await us again this weekend. Right, Sean here at the Lasail International Circuit. The first time we've been back in Qatar in the cup standings since last year. Missed the first race of the season because he was on winner Reb here last year. Asia Talent Peak Cup feat winner. Won. Seven wins to his <laughs> name. <laughs> yeah, the absolutely. No, it's, it's true. And obviously, it's not a position, not a position that we've really been, been, been in before. Um, especially um, especially these guys. I mean, feel like you've not quite up to speed with how class world does disappear. Because even since we've got here before, obviously, home round. So, lot can hear that lovely little horn signal. We're about to get underway. Margin, do not adjust your set. Veda Pratama. Then we have Ogiwara and a winner already this year. Puetisan in seventh on the grid alongside Hafi and Singapong after an impressive Then we're on to Malandri, Gading and Raziadan on row four. And then Al Sahuti. You missed the best name on the grid. Here we go then. We are underway under the floodlights for the warm up lap in our schedules for this final round of the season. And also, and there you can see the standings like Elliot was saying. It's very, very close. Even if we just had one or more chance to get those raw five points, but we've still got two races to go. Everything to play for sometimes. But when you put it on pole position, that you've got a little bit of margin. Laps coming up for race one. Another 12 laps coming up tomorrow, of course. What Gets happen? underway for race one. The green flag waves on the in the background. Left hand side of your screens. It revs up. And we are underway for race one. It's a on. great launch from pole position. Launch the number from seven, the reigning Pratama champion. Exactly would have launched the number to seven. Now it's all about took into the stick on Wara. The rider is behind. It. Turn one has just pushed quite a long way. I just realised that round as I started to say it. <laughs> Perfect position for the Indonesian Six, on the number seven Zara machine at the moment then. But Aki Wara. Of row two, but he's making up places already. He's going with Pratama at the front and as you can see, the lead is stretching out in terms of the top three. See what happens there on the outside of turn one. Turn 12. Then then back to right for 13 and sweeping it back to right again turn for 14. 15, they call the play, and then it's down to the final yeah. corner. Ogiwara right on oh, behind the 12, and this is the kilometre long back straight. You can see that Ogiwara pulls out of the slipstream on the number 16. If you can make a move early, and, exactly and he is in the lead. He is indeed. I wasn't sure if he was quite going to get that stop there, but certainly not over the line there. Hanging on to that hard fought nice lead done. for the number seven i can't speak today and Ogiwara as well then talk. capitalizing that on that from the back there's a bit of space in starting to emerge there seven. he does not want anyone else seeing that in 2023 he's trying to lose in hand paint there he's got to watch out he's really pushing on in the early the exchanges is Pratama the box players are still right behind it they've got any chance of trying to bridge that gap yeah like I said there's some serious space emerging between this kind of trio and then start to battle very very hard to allow them to just cut that one. Gap. It and even like made up a moment. little bit of ground there again. Ooh, oh, and then it's like gone. It could be a trio so fighting it all out okay there, but today then. Yeah, that's a bit of a slow start. Did well to rebound from down the final corner. Number 14, I thought he was a little bit out of shape. Two, and Daki up the inside of the park at turn four, but he somehow got zero. He's on the machine, he's got the lap from Daki. So he takes the lead back from Pratama. He's going to wait for long, though. Pulls up on the inside of Daki. This trio has always been able to get around the outside. And he's back into the back. 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 He's it. Great stuff Great then, stuff Eamon then. Daki, 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 and it wasn't really a speed from deficit from or lack of speed that seen it yeah, drop that far off. Oh. Speaking of, that was a little bit through into the lead. They're all looking over the shoulder now. Maybe that's exactly what Shinya Azar would need. Still in that race lead after those wobbles, and Ogiwara once Azara again. Azawa, sorry, needs to happen. You can see the gap. The leading trio we'll get it across Zara the line. Leads over the line once again. Five tenths of a second. There's a two once again over the line. Dies on the inside of Lakeman. So, and yeah, one, Daki needs absolutely no second invitation. We've seen him creating Thomas his own invitations already so far. Over so. It once again. But like you said, oh, and now the graphic as well back come up to show last time hand. around. So after he had his if own wobble, he now to take may be able to get back front into this. When they're fighting it out, you're that losing lap time. If he is sort of just over a second off them now, he will start to get back into feeling the effect of that slipstream. It could be one to watch. There it is. Five Thomas four tenths quicker through. than Patama went in qualifying the earlier on the duo. Immediately then loses the race lead and the number seven place. But yep. uh, yeah, 
these guys then immediately attacking, taking that opportunity to move through and when it is sort of five, it is an interesting. Go. It'll suddenly make his way to the front, put the hammer down, but as really then, make that yeah, lost out a little bit more last time it's around. Didn't he? Maybe it was place. just those these guys obviously scrapping it out a little bit and losing time in circuit. In doing so, but the music took it. Of the one kilometer long, front straight to be a little bit further up. Than they are the two Japanese yeah, riders. I thought it'd be after debuting not so long ago. Uh, yeah, right right on good the, job. Uh, tail of, uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting good job, one, isn't it? We've definitely got these podiums the fight at the moment. Bit of an and then that much the bigger group that's uh, yeah, chopping Just and changing all the time. Perfect example of the finish line being moved back. Or even when years gone by, Tama used to get to 95 the Austrians to lower class as we've seen so many times this year. But nowadays, because the finish line way moves, be your good one. Really want to be hiding out the final score. As long as you get a good punch off out the final the corner, then you're probably going to cross the line. Uh, but yeah, absolutely it is a bit different here. The speed traps in us, but it was an interesting question we've had so far. So yeah, yeah it's Adaki all at the moment much just in that third position. Uh, and you can then see the gaps really not back getting bigger. No doubt the number 14 will be right back on them again the in a couple of eight three places. Uh, so yeah, it looks like this here. is going chess at the front. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. See, Azawa now also got plenty of gap back to that battle behind him. But that's five coming in both of these groups. The other yeah, now to 11.3 for which one. Which is getting a little bit too close for comfort down at turn one though in the battle for the top five. That was Tarni, 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 Beautiful, beautiful livery Deemed shining so. with these floodlights. Here we go then. It's Pratama, but let's see if they exist by the time we get Dry. to the next Dry, five laps access. to go. Crunch time in race one here in Qatar. But Tama the still lead. leading so away. Azawa's race Azawa's is running one. terms of two to five kilometers T1. an hour two down the front of the race. Of the the race. And at the head of the race group. is now exactly. Yeah, you can see the huge difference there in Pratama. So, so the Indies right now, maybe team. he's trying to pull a Pratama and just get the hammer down and try and disappear here. Finished on the podium for the first time back in Malaysia for race two. And he wasn't ha as happy Three. as I thought he'd he be after He is absolutely finish. desperate for that first win of the season with his leading trio. But Aguara then has taken the lead where there is just a good over chasing from Aguara or potentially a bit of an error. We did time. see that tiny but, uh, little yeah, twitch, so like the number 16 the then leads around. the way, but it's Boy, still very main straight, you can see it was 10k quicker. All right, uh, so really let's see what job out of the final corner there to uh, have a little who bit is at the of back of the space. train, who's going to make and it all the way to the, the front then. That is think what that's it gonna really fit there, is. But Adaki then keeps that the lead. Bit then, of a scare between. No harm done, ultimately. Let's see what we've Three got next time around. Door, they need to be careful there. They it's are very tempting. Still try and, uh, cut you off. Are just then. There wasn't yeah, turn much one. room to go out there for Pratama. Again. But a little, little bit of a scare, little bit but no eager. such worries. They're all Three staying on the track. Coming up in the final three and a half laps. Adaki, like I say, two is in front of him. Learning a couple of things where maybe the duo behind him right now is strong. Maybe where they're weaker. Three and a half. Lap. Yes, he is I'm leading this moment long. in time. Yeah, I would say not for long either, but it's I don't three in one yeah. there, but all still upright. No the trio, and they're all fighting the out end. then as well Let's down see. the main straight. Who is going to be latest on the Swan. race? Adaki won the race over the line by just it is possible to come out of the final corner in second if you get a good run and finish really on a over the line in first the place. On this the is grid. the battle down. Here we go then. It's yes, still Adaki at the head of the race. Try around the is... outside there, but no. So we're still Two locked to together. This trio Tama. in the fight for the win. The six stream doesn't go Quite from win the race to line. Adaki to does, but three immediately looks like Adaki are on the goes from on the outside and checks Tama cuts across. Two laps. Is he going to lead into turn one? Yes, he is. Adaki slips it. Clear out to win the race. A podium won't do for Ogiwara. That ever stronger Putama oh, that breaking. Was very close run. there. Nicely very, done very in the end. Close. All under control. Oh, it's, it's like Putama then. Seconds. Once again, he more than it's really leads this race. A little bit then bit this makes really, Adaki really and Ogiwara's performance from this Putama. Really, but then really impressive as well. One more lap we know the Indonesian is the benchmark. Very impressive. You can down see Putama to try and make the break. Do we think they're going to be able to get back on the rear wheel of the number seven? Absolutely. The right is down for the slipstream heading on to the kilometer long front straight lap from Batama, but Adaki and Ogiwa 
far at Arsenal right now. The final the ball in Sleep comes up so alongside Adaki, the duo. Uh, the in the time 21 of his arm, 21 of his arm, trio to be watching the trio cross the line going into turn one. So it's going to happen, like I said, the time is going to be so far. Patama, I thought he's going to have a lunge up into turn six together. Patama, a line of a record breaking eighth win on the exit of season on the wicket left through eight and then right. Through nine, turn to late on the break, through turn ten, and then they power it through the foggy one around the outside. Yeah, I was going to say, wow, okay, round eight, seven, really eager to take this one. Oh, Adaki looking for a bit of it. I thought maybe we were going to see that number seven. trying to make that stick? Very close there. Oh, Adaki Stamon, who nicks it across the line from Ogiwara, waves the hand across the line. Patama wins his eighth race of the season. Ogiwara finishes his feet, and after all that, Bazaar is going to stand on the post line. Well, it was wasn't a super dramatic 